Hello, YouTube and Dark Under Eye Circles. So that was a big lie. That was a big fail. I put on those clothes and then I proceeded to kind of dick around and I ate a lot of food and had wine. And that's what I did on a Sunday. I did draw, which I'll show you some of, but um, didn't have, I didn't have like a good cohesive thought. Sorry, I keep getting notifications and I just want them to be gone because then I can't see my face. And if I can't see my face, I don't know what it looks like. So, where was I? I need to get a sticky note. All right, I have a sticky note of video ideas. I have no makeup on. And like, that feels like it should be a reason not to film, but also feels like a reason to film. I'm on my lunch break. It's on a Monday and I've been working very hard. So instead of eating, I'm gonna film a video. I suppose the, the most logical thing uh, based on what I made yesterday is to talk about this look like I have oil on my shirt because I think it's oil. <laughs> Gross. So I want to talk about how I prep for new work because prepping for new work, um, at least for me, is a little bit stressful. If I have a new idea, I don't really know how I want to go about it, how I want to tackle it. Do I want to put it on a canvas? Do I want to just freeform sketch it out on a piece of paper and then paint over it? Um, so I'm hoping that if I give you a little insight, I know it's some insight I wish I could have had when I was younger because I, I, what it looked like to me was that artists were just super skilled. They would walk up to a canvas and they would sketch it out, paint it out, boom, they're done. They're just like crazy skilled. I could do that, but I would waste a lot of paint and I don't have money to waste on paint. So I'll talk a little bit about my process. What I do is I'll write down some ideas and I kind of brainstorm. So maybe I have a core idea of, core idea of like maybe a subject I want to work on or a color scheme or some mark making I want to try. Like recently I've been very inspired by Van Gogh and I've only recently really gotten into art history, which a lot of people do before they, you know, kind of really start on their art journey. journey. But yeah, I might start with some inspiration like Van Gogh. I find his his coloring very inspiring and his mark making very inspiring. Um, and I'll pair it with a theme that I've been pondering on. So right now the theme that I have been mulling over is nature as a teacher. So when I was younger, I would love to like watch water. I love to just look at the dirt and the grass. And what I realized recently is that I looked to nature to be a teacher, to teach me something to um, help me explore or I guess show me things that I can't find elsewhere um, and it's really all science-based I don't know if anyone else is a, a science nerd but I love it I love understanding how the tiniest molecules make up these huge waves or how when you dig into a leaf and you look at it under a microscope you see it's not like someone was pounding on the walls you see chaos in all of these uh what's what what looks like random um veins or cracks and then you go even further and it's all very orderly it's all cells that's really really interesting to me so when i think about nature as a teacher i think of having these big um formations of nature maybe it's a massive bush or a massive tree something like that uh, and then the subjects the humans being very small being very humbled um because that's how i always felt i was so humbled by nature nothing else makes me feel that way um so i'm taking this theme and to find a theme i mean finding new ideas how new ideas come about will be a whole separate video but that's gonna involve some exploration Figure out what you find interesting and brainstorm. Take an hour to write down what might branch off of that initial initial idea. Um, because that idea really just started with like, I like nature, I appreciate nature, and that's in the center. And then I explored what I think about nature or what it represents to me. So anyway, that's my theme. And then I'm inspired by Van Gogh and his mark making. So I've done some research there. I've maybe tried to figure out how he makes his marks, what what medium he uses, um, what colors he uses. And so from there, I'll do a quick sketch on a piece of paper, little thumbnails, like very tiny. You can see that I'm just making out little boxes. It's on a really you know cheap sketch pad. I'm not spending too long 
only spending about 10 15 seconds or, or so and i it's not like i have a ton of new ideas i'm making variations on each one you know you're not gonna jump jump from step one to step 20. you're gonna go one two three four and then you'll hit something that you really really like so make variations and then from there i'll go to my ipad which i love digital drawing is like the most transformational tool for me because it's not intimidating. I can mess up. I can delete. I can duplicate. I can save things. I don't, on a piece of paper, if I have something I like and I make one wrong mark, not wrong, but something I don't love, I can't just press the undo button. So I love digital drawing as a, as a tool for planning and research. It's, for anyone who's wondering, I actually use the app Procreate. I'll go on an iPad and I'll start with the sketch that most intrigues me. And then I'll start blocking in color. I don't focus too hard on the texture. I don't focus on the fine details. I'm focusing more on composition. Do I like how it's set up? Do I feel like it's balanced? And then from there, if I find something I like, I might add a little bit of texture and build it out so that I can visualize how it'll look in the end. And I'll visualize like my mark making, maybe what, what layers come first. Now, um, maybe a lot of people don't do this, but I have a very hard time taking a small piece of work and transferring it to a larger canvas. Uh, it's like the magic just isn't there for some reason. I, it always seems very underwhelming and I used to think it was because I was just not skilled enough and really it's because I, I expect to use the same technique in the large painting that I use in the small and that's just not the case. Um, I like to work very quickly on small canvases and that's just what I prefer, but I can't necessarily do that on a large one or it looks kind of messy. I'll do what I'm doing here where I have, I've landed on a composition I like, on colors that I like, um, and I start building it out on a small like six by six or eight by eight, knowing that my final piece is going to be much larger. Like I will go to a 22 by 22 most frequently. And so that's a good point too. When you're starting off, you should know where you want to end up very roughly. You don't have to know all the details of where you want to end up, of course. But knowing that I eventually plan for it to be on a larger canvas is really important because that's gonna be in the back of my head as I create everything. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. Oh, yeah. 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flyer than your ex, man. We ain't gotta go outside. Two step in the rain, the rain. Wake up by my side. Don't care what you can't say. Oh, you just my type. Oh, yeah, she know the deal like an old scrippy. First to really sell that shit. Champagne with the roof gun. Bump this jam back in Tucson. Think I got to get a move on. Never had much to lose, but you could do better with me in the middle of the road or the back of the Jeep. So baby, let's not talk about it. But I gotta know. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, man. Got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes man. Oh yeah, 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flyer than your ex man. Why you act so extra? Let me in your section. Running through my mind, we got a connection. Back home ain't the same, your pops drinking all the time. You just wanna get away, come hop up in my ride. Two goofies on the run, couple forties in the backseat. Spirits in my lungs. Yeah, my a little raspy turn me to a yes man before we do this girl i got a question if i take you down would you really hold me down and be your best friend she just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and i'm like yes ma'am when you got me feeling for your body you might turn me to a yes man oh yeah 80 and a 40 i'm a nervous bitch i'm flat in your ex like oh my god ride into your legs like oh my god and let's go on a day like oh my god when i'm back from l.a like oh my god oh my god yeah. 
she still think it's odd, yeah I got all these fans, she's the only one I want, yeah Impress me with your mind, I might turn you to a mom, yeah You might get a pension if you work it for me long, yeah It's gonna be a long, yeah I don't know how they get like that Recognize my runs and get them fixed like that Booming through my city with my people all around Is you coming with me or you staying on the ground, yeah uh. Yes or no, how'd it go? Where your man? Do you got one on the low? Oh, you do? How'd I know? Born in 1994, you still a scrub. But I still don't think you know this how to love. But I gotta know that if I take you down, would you really hold me down? I'd be your best friend. She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The way you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to the yes, man. Bitch, I'm flyer than your ex, man. I'm flyer than your next, man. I'm flyer than your. I'm not over you It ain't been decided You can't make a choice For two My heart ain't been lying No, I'm not over you Cause I know it's true No one else could love me Half as good as you our coffee shop You're still tucked in our favorite booth No, I didn't want to stop But it's a table for two We both know it's true No one else could love me Half as good as you No one else could love you Half as good as I no one else could love each other half as good as one another no one else could love half as good as
So we're at the larger piece, um, and this will be the final piece, right? So I'll make any, I'll think of any adjustments I want to make. What did I not like about the smaller piece? What do I feel like could have been enhanced? What do I feel like could have been changed in terms of color? I know that some of it's going to be changed on the fly, but I've now planned for anything that might come up that would cause me anxiety, essentially, because I get anxiety pretty bad. And then sixth, I actually just reevaluate my work. I try to see like what worked, what didn't work, what I would have changed, and I might make a whole nother piece um, or a couple small pieces to, to rework through some of those items. So it's like a constant feedback loop, um, but taking it from start to finish really has several steps, and I don't think you get to see that uh, with a lot of artists' work. I know for me, I would look at an artist and I would say, holy cow, how did they get everything on canvas in one try? And the truth is, they don't. They don't get it in one try. Um, there's a lot of prep work, planning, a lot of failure that goes into it. I feel like people link things in these videos. I'll link... Sorry, my dad called. Oh, I'll link the music I've been listening to while I paint. I will link a recipe to hot chocolate, which my boyfriend drinks frequently. I don't. Um, there's, there's someone pounding on the wall right now. How... Is it just when I'm talking? Do you think my neighbors just don't want to hear me talk? I'm talking now, and I'm wondering if the pounding will continue. No, I don't think it's the talking, because I've been taking meetings all day. And I didn't hear this pounding till now. Unless they know. They know I'm, they know I'm trying to vlog, and they know it's awkward. And so they're just trying to shut me down. Thanks, YouTube, for watching. Um, I appreciate any views and any subscriptions because it makes me excited about making more videos um, and explaining the art process and opening up the world of art to people who are maybe intimidated by it or maybe just enjoy watching me paint. But either way, um, please subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Also, if you don't know, but the way thumbnails are made are either like a photo, which fine if you have a team of people to take a photo of you or videos and it's things like this where you're just like what do i do hold up this hold up this this is how a thumbnail is made i could make a whole video on this probably and maybe i will but it's just kind of funny like the amount of work that goes into just a thumbnail otherwise you get some silly photo or image of yourself being like like a paused you know frame um, just thought of that one on the fly. I didn't realize how disgusting this sweatshirt looks. But like, I hate, I hate over planning. I hate over planning for videos because then by the time, because then by the time I shoot it, I'm like disinterested. And there's a whole slew of things that are struggles for an artist. And I'm sure disinterested is one of them. That'll be another video as well. Um, gonna write it down on my sticky note. Struggles of an artist. Alright, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to get on my sweatpants today. Bye!